Hello and welcome back to the podcast. I am really excited to talk about this topic. It is creating versus consuming. And I actually talked about this in an accountability group that I'm in the other day. And the reason why I feel like it's so important is because oftentimes when we get onto social media, we find ourselves in this like space of, well, what can I possibly do? Like, what more can I do? And I, I'm going to tell you right now, I do not subscribe anymore to the whole oh, well, if you're on social media, you can send out 15 DMs to people who have followed you or like 15 DMs to people who you don't know that are going to need your services. Been there, done that, had that sales coach, moved on from that very quickly. I am not interested in doing cold DMs and I feel like that's absolutely pointless Because people know what they want to buy. Like, people will buy what they want to buy. There's no reason for me to, like, slide into somebody's DMs frigid and be like, hey, do you want this thing? Because they don't want it. (laughs) Like, they don't want it. So, I have literally found myself in this... I would say recently I found myself in this conundrum of, like, well, what more can I do? You know, like, what more can I do? And... I'm posting three times a day on TikTok. I've been posting twice a day. This is my first time posting twice a day on Instagram. And I plan on continuing to post twice a day on Instagram. I'm also posting stories. I'm also recording podcasts. I'm also... I do have YouTube videos that I probably could upload, but I don't know that they're going to resonate with my audience, mostly because the YouTube channel that I have that's built up right now is Manifestation. And it's not finance, it's not anything to do with finance, business, money, debt, etc. So I feel like it would be completely off the wall for me to like upload all of those videos and all of that content. But I did find myself talking about this yesterday where I have found that lately I've been doing a lot of consuming. And so today I've been very vigilant about when I do get onto social media, being productive on social media. So I got onto Instagram this morning and there was a point where I was like, you know, starting to do the scroll and I was like, nope, we're going to go to the plus button right now. I had to actively consciously stop myself and be like, we're going to the plus button. We're creating content right now. And so I did. I, um, I put out a reel and I wrote the caption and everything and I put it out. It took me probably 10 minutes. And then I probably did the same thing around one o'clock. I was like, all right, let me open up Instagram. And I was like, nope, I have a draft I could probably put out. And it was a carousel. So I published that as well. And I usually try and stick to very regular TikTok posting times. So it's like once in the morning around nine, once in the afternoon around 12 or one. And then I try and do four or five o'clock in the evening. And then once before like bed, I guess, you know, like eight or nine. So I try and do four, but sometimes it's just impossible to do four. So I only get to do three. So point being, I've been very regular in terms of like posting content. And in all honesty, I've also been very regular in promoting my course and promoting my program, promoting my wait list for two weeks there. And there, there's like a part of me that's like, well, what more can I do? What more can I create? What more can I do? Right. And there, there's this like delicate balance that you have to, this dance that you have to do with yourself of like, you don't want to push yourself too, too much, but you also don't want to pull the, pull your foot off the gas and like completely just cruise until you come to a halt. So I think it's really important that if you do end up going on social media, you find yourself creating more than you do consuming. And There was another reason why I had brought this up the other day in conversation with my accountability group where there there is this powerful dynamic when you go into a 30-day, a 60-day, a 90-day goal where when you focus on creating a results-oriented experience, then what ends up happening is you start to find yourself serving the client with exactly what it is that they need. And when you create those outcomes and those results, then it's like the results speak for themselves. And then the results are going to be what ends up selling your course and marketing your course in the future. So that's another really quick, important topic that I wanted to touch on in terms of creating versus consuming. Because when I've run courses in the past, 
I was still stuck in this mode of like consuming other people's content. Like, how can I make this better? How can I find more people? How can I do this? Right. And now I find myself more in a space of, I want to get the videos for the modules done. I want to build this program. I want to build out the systems. I want to automate the living poop out of it. And I want it to be built. I want it to be done because I have gone through this whole process for the last four years and I've had coaches and mentors tell me, oh, you know, just launch it and then like, you know, you'll be able to like pre-sell it and then you can build it once everybody's in. And I've done that before. I've done that for three years prior to this year. And so this year I'm deciding to do something different where I build it first. So we're going to dive into that in another episode because I do have to get ready to jump off here. But I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for listening. And I want to thank you for your loyalty. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.